So this is the second part of the tutorial series and here we're gonna make a easy lower third nameplate. So what I did in After Effects, I just made a simple animation, used a little bit of glow and that's it. So here you can see I made an in animation and then a loop animation with the glow and then an out animation. This is very important that you have a in loop and out. Of course the loop can also be a still if you don't want animations while the plate is showing. So let's start by rendering the in animation. So this is the in animation. I'm only, I want this as a separate file. And then I add to media encoder. It will not work if you do add to render queue, as then you don't have the option of the WebM. If you don't have the WebM at all, uh, there's a separate tutorial on how to get that in the description. My computer is a little bit slow today, especially if I record at the same time. So here I select WebM, and then we go to the settings. Uh, so here you see I are, I'm only rendering the in animation. I go down, I need to set it to VP8 and I want to include alpha. And the quality is more like what you want, I normally put it between 50 and 70. And then I'm navigating to my templates folder, single left video, and I'm gonna call this start underscore 1080. And then we're gonna render it. Don't worry about the glow, uh, not showing correctly, um, it will be fine. And now we're gonna do the same with the loop animation. Set the in and out point of the render. Sometimes this uh, means that you have to re-render it a couple of times, uh, because you set the in and out point wrong. This looks fine. I'm gonna do it to the media encoder. Of course you can batch render if you want, but in this example I'm just doing everything separate. I'm gonna go to VP8 again. I'm gonna set the quality to 70. And include alpha. Now let's navigate to my templates again. And we're gonna call this loop underscore 1080 and we check if it's the loop only rendering press ok and we render this one out we'll speed this up because it will take a while this is mainly because I have a lot of background processes running again the glow looks shit in the preview but this will be fine in our final nameplate So now let's do the out animation. Just gonna select the bit that I want to render from the right keyframe in After Effects. And because the last frame will be empty, it doesn't you it's better to have one or two frames extra with the empty frame. We do WebM again. We do VP8 70 quality include alpha and we see that it's only the out animation rendering so navigate to the templates folder single nameplate a bit and call this stop underscore 1080 and let's render that
And now we're done with prepping our lower third in After Effects and Media Encoder. So here's the folder of the vid. You see that I have a, made a mistake with the loop render because it has a one. Let's just delete the files we don't need and rename loop to loop underscore 1080 so that we know it's going to work. Now let's start with the template creation, uh, the same way that we did in part 1 for the countdown. Just going to change the look of the name and the Twitter handle. And I'm going to fill in some example data. Now let's save this. If you want to know more about how to change text and everything, it's all in part 1. So let's pl play it out. We see of course that it's wrong and we stop it again. So uh, the lower third is white, but I want to see what's happening. So I'm just temporarily adding a background color, red in this example. Uh, I could of course have it in the code first, but, but in this example I will just be doing it over and over again in the Chrome example code. I see it doesn't take the font for the Twitter handle, that's because there is no regular font loaded as seen in part 1 of the tutorial series. So let's just change it to bold as well, save it, refresh it, play it out, or wait, we're first gonna add the background color red again. Now we're going to play it out, and we're going to stop it. And as you see, if I play and stop it again, um, the in animation doesn't work. That's fine. Um, just refresh, and then it will work again. So now, the same way as that we did in the first part of this tutorial series, we're going to change the position of the text. This one looks kind of correct, uh, and we'll have it there. And here we want to align it underneath the name. Then we navigate to the style.css of the template itself, and we're going to change the values to what we changed it with in Chrome. We're gonna refresh, play it out. Now it's on the right locations. So we're gonna stop it, refresh again, make the background red again. And of course, you can have this in the code while you're working in the actual index file. So, what we wanna change is how it fades in, how fast it fades in. So, we're gonna change this to thousand and I want the fade to be more subtle so let's change that well save it in this example change the background again to red and we're gonna play it out and now it fades in precisely as I want of course you need to play a little bit with the values but doing this over and over again, you kind of know which values you want. But what you also see is that it fades out instead of the out animation. So within the template index file, we're gonna uh, purge it again, but we're gonna change the fade out to false. Change the background to red again. Refresh and play it out. So now we see that it has an in animation and an out animation. Remove the example data for testing in Casper CG. You can also leave it there, but 
I made it a habit of removing it as I had one production that my name showed up a lot of times because of, because people didn't fill in any data. Let's play it out. You see that the glow is looping. That's exactly what we want. Uh, because OBS is recording, there is a little bit of stuttering in Cosmos G, but normally I don't have it. And fill in the template data to check if it's uh, actually working. Let's play it out. And there we have it. Still looping in the middle. And that's basically how you make a simple lower third. I did it a very quick way. Normally I would take uh, longer to make it uh, better, but this is uh, the basics of how you can make it.